Welcome back to another video looking at Power BI. So if you've seen our previous video where we're using or showing you how to connect to data on the web, then the dashboard we're looking at here will seem very familiar to you. Uh, I've just finished filming the video uh, for that tutorial and there were some bits with the, uh, the data that I felt would need to be updated. They didn't look quite right. So namely being, if we look at the chart here for India, you can see that we've got India and then there's the value of C surrounded by these two brackets and the same for other countries. And obviously it's it's not presented the data in the manner we'd like to see. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity with a real world example to show you how we can extract that information using um, the transform data or Power Query to be more specific within Power BI. So that is going to be the film theme of this video. So picking up from where we left off, we've obviously got data into our dashboard and we now decided that we need to make some updates to this, namely being able to simply remove these values from our data. All we need to do is go transform data. So we just click that button overall and it'll open up our Power Query Editor. And I'm just wrestling on in my other screen. There we go, just to find that query editor. And we won't go, there's some other bits you could probably play around with this data, but our main ambition here is just to remove swiftly and quickly the, for every country that has these uh, square brackets and letter, just to remove that altogether. So this is a really simple, quick trick we can use to really tidy up our data in this column in particular. So all we need to do is just select this column, go into transform, and you'll see there's this option about halfway across underneath the text column option of extract. So all we need to do is select that drop down, and you can see we've got a range or a a range of options available to us. So we've got length, characters, range, but the ones we're interested in are these, text before, after, and between delimiters. So I want to extract the text before a delimiter, and that delimiter being this left square bracket. So all we need to do is go text before delimiter, and we'll get a pop-up that asks for some more information. And simply all I'm gonna do here is enter a square, um, or a left square bracket. And you can see we've got some advanced options available to us here, but we don't need to worry about that if, in case you want to skip a number of delim delim delimiters, so you have the first or whatever it might be. But for us, we'll keep that closed, ignore that. We're simply gonna enter this left square bracket. Once we've done that, we'll click OK. And you can see how all of those uh, bracketed um, letters have now been removed from our column. So this gives us a lot cleaner list of countries to work with. So if we now go back to our home tab, Close and apply. So that has now been saved. That step has now been saved into our query. And what I should have done there is just probably shown you that step actually. So I was gonna go back into transform data. So apologies for jumping over that and going back in. You can see our, our step we just done there of extracted text before delimiter. You can see it's now been added to our applied steps. So every time our data is refreshed or we refresh our data, it's also gonna um, execute this step to make sure that our data is retains this desired format we have here. No changes are made this time, so I'm literally gonna just cross out of this screen. And you can now see with our countries we have in our bar chart here, Indonesia, Greece, and Hong Kong are looking nicely formatted. It's obviously dropped the UK because obviously it had that other value in, so it's no longer able to find it. So if I scroll all the way down our list and let's find uh, United Kingdom will be in here somewhere. They've got United Kingdom, United States, and you can get UAE as well. We can see how we've got a table or our chart and our table is all nicely formatted as well. You don't need to obviously worry about this too much, but it just bothers me. So I'm just gonna go into population here and I'm gonna literally separate by comma. And that way we can see we've got some more manageable populations we've got here. And yet we can see, again, I don't know the populations for every country, but I know for the United States and the UK, these populations look about correct. So I can see that we're happy our data is pulling in correctly as well. So the data set that we looked at in that previous video was simply connecting to Wikipedia and pulling out the population per every country. It's a really useful data set to use. So if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go check it out. It's obviously just a previous video to this channel and hopefully a link to that might pop up during this video as well. Um, obviously using population data is always gonna be of use 
use, whether it's just personal interest or you've actually got a, a business work uh, connection to that as well. It's also just a really interesting data set to use when you're playing around with Power API. So like I say, strongly suggest you check out that video, even if it's just to get that data set so you have something that you can play with in your future uh, playing of Power BI. But if you did enjoy that video and it showed you something useful, or nonetheless, if you made it this far and you just did enjoy watching this video, please make sure you hit that like button. That way it will help the all important YouTube algorithm to ensure more people are able to find this video and other videos on our channel so we can help them identify the, or answer the questions that they're looking for. And lastly, if it's your first time finding one of our videos or you have watched our videos in the past and you've still not subscribed to the channel, please can I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification button as well. That way you'll be notified of all our future videos and obviously it strongly helps the channel and will be greatly appreciated by me as well. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.